All right, folks, this is a camera view for Voice of the Fans. What's good in sports by way of Los Angeles News Observer? Hey, Kobe, you talked about you, the importance of hydrating athletes. And could you talk about what it means to the mind, to focus on the mind and getting them mentally tough, mentally prepared for their journey to become professional athletes? Well, it happens in increments. Um, I'm going to ask you to be real with this, Jason. What are some of the challenges that you face throughout the building process? Yeah, you know, we were just talking about that earlier. What are the challenges, challenges, Jason? You're avoiding the question because that's pretty good. No, seriously, what are some yeah. of the challenges? As you say, that every project has challenges, yeah. so you wouldn't be alone in that. Yeah. But what is something that you guys really had to overcome? Well, here? I mean, listen, you, you're always managing uh, delivery schedules and getting building yeah, material on site. We're wrapping things up here at the SoFi Stadium where we saw the Kansas City Chiefs, the defending champions, come back on a play in spirited football against the Los Angeles Chargers. Today, the game started off in a weird way because Los Angeles Chargers starting quarterback was diagnosed with a chest pain and he was sent to the hospital. That meant rookie quarterback Justin Herbert, number six draft pick from Oregon, was thrusted into the starting position. In this game today, he became the first quarterback since 1954 to rush for a touchdown and pass for a touchdown in his debut. Uh, Larry Scott, commissioner of the Pac-12 Conference. Can you expand upon some of the unintended consequences that you mentioned with uh, the new legislation involving the NCAA student athletes, as you put it? Um, well, these discussions are still a work in progress. Mr. Mayor, regards to the, with regards to the Inglewood residents, you spoke, a, you spoke about a funding going to low-income housing. When can Inglewood residents expect to see those housing? When would that housing be available to those residents? That was such a good question. <laughs> First of all, the, the Community Benefits Agreement doesn't take effect until 2024 when the season opens. As the LA Bowl is going to obviously generate a lot of money um, with these students, athletes playing these games, do you think some of the compensation to go to their betterment, maybe they're to their education, maybe they're to their well-being and their livelihood? Well, the great thing about all the student athletes that are going to play in the LA Bowl, they will all re they're all receiving a full scholarship. With Jamar coming into the league, how much of an advantage was it to your college days, what you guys have coming into the league in this season? How much of an advantage was that? Aaron, what has the game of baseball taught you? It's taught me quite a bit. Um, but I think, I think the most... The Chargers gave up three turnovers. Anthony Lynn will tell you every week, you cannot win if you give up three turnovers and you get none. Any coach would actually tell you that in the NFL. Well, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I had Cambosas in that fight. I have you traveling out there. Uh, um, talk, talk to us about how what an idiot I was for picking Cambosas. The team as a whole gave up 29 points for the sixth straight game. Something not working right. Whether it's coaching, personnel, they got to figure it out, or Anthony Lynn's going to be out of here. Now that the Boston Celtics have um, stolen home court advantage, stolen the first game of the, the, the first game of the NBA Finals. Let's see if they can play with some momentum. What's the best lesson you learned from playing baseball, Mookie? If you can narrow it down to just a couple key ones. Learning how to accept and embrace failure. Because that's what baseball is. You hear that, kids? You know, that's a big lesson right there. Coach, I am a big fan of the team dynamic um, and team development. You Each year, you go through the same process where you're taking guys, so cream of the crop from different areas, and you're molding a team. And you got, what, 20 games to kind of bring them and, and have that bubble to the top? How do you do that, Coach? <laughs> you have to have great kids who are willing to share, who weren't lied to in the recruiting process. Okay, now, you're, you're old enough right. to, to have watched him take it down. Right. And do a sin. Right. Yeah, did, you have to, hey, did you have to hey, say, hey, come on, son? Hey, hey, no, we're talking about on the other end now. Okay. With Jaws on offense. Hey, fans, thank you guys for tuning in. Cameron Buford here, voice of the fans. What's good in sports?